Firescape Engineers Inspector Summary Video. Here we are in Boston. This is the, the number uh, fourth of Greenville. And uh, this Firescape, well painted, has had it's showing evidence of strength both on the cement and all the bolts. So you see all the new 3 8 bolts. So this Firescape uh, is probably 98% uh, done. Uh, structurally, she does pass the structural inspection. The only concern we're going to have is the, how we're going to treat the grading and the treads uh, with, a wire, uh, with a waiver of liability, simply because these components are rotting from the inside out, and whether or not they need to be reinforced at this time. Uh, they need further examination, such as hammering, uh, use a crowbar or, a, or a, a bar in between to see if any of them are ready to snap, and those get redone. And in a spot repair, same thing for the treads, you got to make sure that none of these fronts are ready to pop. Um, again, no welding. The fire skip has lead, so you can't weld these. You have to use a mechanical fastener, so you're going to use a, uh, a uh, 3 8 with a flat on top or a McNichols clip, which we can show you how to do that. But let's go down these treads. So Firescape does pass a structural inspection. I see no evidence of issues with the cement, but again, those always need to be double checked. The bolts, as you can see, the changing and the caulking has been done over time. The grading uh, and the and the uh, and the uh, treads, the spacer issues is the big issue here. But these are not as bad as the other side sister, exactly like this one, which is even worse. It's colder and darker over there, longer. But again, every one of these is tested. But what they did down towards the bottom, they started welding them. Again, you can't do that anymore. That used to be the quick fix. You would weld this permanently on. So, but now you need to put a, fl a flat on top or a flat in the bottom of the McNichols clips on, on the front and the rear, basically securing this into the future. Or, in some cases, you test hammer all of these, test hammer all of these, and only fix the ones, and every five years you do that. You just keep basically coming back. So, choose to do it all at once now, or, but otherwise, structurally, this Farscape is all set. Um, railings bolted. Any welded connection has got a bolt, which is great. Here's a funny one on this ladder. The ladder, all the bolts are half inch, changed out. So this is a good connection, right? They left one bolt down there, original square head that uh, I photographed. So what's that mean? I, I, have, I need a, a liability waiver on this ladder because they left one bolt. They changed that bolt. There is no liability waiver on this ladder. There is no liability waiver on anything that has a new bolt. But anything that's a component, such as a grating or a tread, that is not reinforced so that we can get some assurances here, we cannot. So I recommend this Firescape is 95 plus percent done, a little bit more, and you basically have a Firescape here that's been uh, refurbished. It's got other evidence of strength, and what that means in the code, the authority having jurisdiction shall accept by load test or other evidence of strength. You are at 95 percent on this Firescape in achieving other evidence of strength to avoid the load test for now and into the future and that could be 15 to 25 years. A quick paint job is not needed. This Farscape, uh, you know, you should always maintain it every five years but the paint is still looking good on this even though it was painted five years ago. Any questions? Farscape Engineers Inspector Summary Video 866-649-0333